Okay, welcome to IT610, Web Development with Content Management System. How to set up a local Drupal development environment? Well, we're going to download and install Acquia Desktop. In this uh, short video, I'm going to show you how to install Acquia Drupal Desktop. Acquia Drupal Desktop is a development environment specifically made by Acquia to develop Drupal based applications. So to get started, we first have to download the software. So I'm opening my browser right now. And once my browser is open, I need to get to the website. That website is Acquia. Com. The website address is www.acquia.com. Okay, once you're on this website, click on free right up here, and this will take you to the environment where you'll be able to download Dev Desktop. So now this is Dev Desktop, so I'll click download. And once I've clicked download, I want to come down here and select Windows because I'm doing this for a Windows computer. I'll select Windows and I'll click download. My download should start now. Okay, it's going on. Once my download is complete, I'll just need to double click on this file to start the installation process. Okay, my download is complete. All right. I'll double click on the file right here to start the installation process. From this window, I'll click on yes. And here you go. My installation has started. Okay. So this is Acquia Dev Desktop. I'll click next. I have to make sure I select Xmail server to allow my development environment or my Drupal site to send emails. This is what's going to be installed. It's going to install Acquia Drupal 7.26.28, which is a Drupal distribution with some modules developed by Acquia. It's going to install the Acquia Dev Desktop Control Panel. It will install Apache 2.2.22. It will install MySQL 5.1. It will install PHP 5.2, PHP 5.3, and PHP 5.4. It will install PHP MyAdmin. All of these is what you need to start developing Drupal websites. So I'll click Next. And I will answer yes to the license agreement and I'll click next. Here I like to save, change this to a specific folder that I'm going, that's going to be created automatically for me by this uh, installation so that all my website files will be stored in that folder. So I'm going to call this IT6. One zero. That's where I'm going to store my website. And I'll click Next. The port numbers, I'll leave them as port 8082. Because in case I have Skype or I have some other applications using port 80, I don't want them to disturb this installation. So I'll leave it at this. And I'll go Next. 
and here I'll just put IT610 web development with content management system username I'll leave this as my username and I'll put my password this is my administrative password the user account being created here is the master user account that's the super account it's the most powerful user in the Drupal website and I'll put my email address here this is the email address that emails will be sent to for me and I'll click next so this is what's going to be installed it's going to install Drupal Acquia Drupal it's going to install it in the location IT610 in drive C it's going to use the Apache port 8082 my SQL port 33066 and my site name is IT610 web development with content management and my user ID username is tlamin and my email address is this and now click next and next and now the installation have started okay this is gonna take a little while you see all these different messages going on as the installation goes on Seems like we are almost there. But this may take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to skip by this a little bit. So we don't make the video too long. you see this uh, command screens coming up and when you see this message comes up just allow it allow and allow Okay, seems like our installation is done. Now I just need to click finish. And it's going to launch a queer desktop for me right away. So once it's launched, from here I have a one Drupal site already installed. So I can click on go to site, go to my site. And my site is up okay so now I can log in with the username and password that I created and I'm in but remember this site has some models that you may not need this is the default that comes with this development environment the acquired Drupal desktop so if I go into modules, I'll see some other modules that I don't want. So the next video, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to install Drupal 
default without all the other extra modules. So this is our site. Our environment is ready. 